You may begin reading. Level two, objective, to reach one inch for the dumbbell. Motivation. Place your dog beside you on a sixth day, close to a creature or object Stay. which you believe would be a distraction to your dog. Auntie Linda and his mommy. Put your dumbbell in a pocket or inside your shirt so that you'll have both hands free for a few moments. Snug the collar up firmly and so high on the neck that your left thumb will be by your dog's ear. Use your right hand to arrange the ear between the running part of the collar and the thumb. When the collar is in the correct position, there is no dog too small to permit the use of this grip. With, this, with his foundation of obedience training, the dog will probably take the snugness of the collar as a further cue to stay. But if he tries to move, be careful to stop him without increasing the thumb pressure. It is essential that such discomfort come only when justified. Watch your dog carefully. At a moment when he appears occupied with the distraction, place the dumbbell lightly, no pressing, against his mouth and give the command to fetch. If he responds in the presence of the distraction, cage his jaws gently with your right hand for a few moments of praise, then tell him to give and take the dumbbell. His performance when exposed to distraction reflects your training. It is now and at subsequent points of distraction that the natural retriever fails to retrieve naturally. If he does not immediately respond to your command to take the dumbbell, press down on the ear with your thumbnail and enforce with enough force to make him open his mouth from surprise and discomfort. Do not pull or twist the ear. As the mouth opens, use your grip on the collar to move his head forward so that his jaws will encompass the dumbbell. Do not move the dumbbell into his mouth. Move his mouth over the dumbbell. The instant the dumbbell is in his mouth, take your thumb from his ear and proceed to praise him. Then finish the exercise in the manner prescribed above. Failure to take the thumb pressure from the dog's ear the instant the dumbbell enters his mouth will cause him to be corrected in association with what you want him to do, resulting in cruel confusion. Are we ready? Ready. Heal. Sit. Stay. Power up. High off. This is where you can add with it. And essentially, well, I gotta change positions because I can't see over there. You want to make sure that the collar is high enough so when you place your thumb on the ear, the dog's got no room to move, right? Doesn't matter if it's a big one or a little one. Where should I, does it matter where I should put my ear? Up the foot, well, your ear is on your head. Your thumb is on his ear. Anyway. Right out there is fine. It's going to depend, that's going to depend on the sensitivity of the dog, to be honest with you, right? So the chain runs underneath, the thumb is on top of the, the, the ear lever. Carry on. Move your feet a little. Ease, fetch. Good lad. Good boy. Out. Ease, fetch. Now again, this is really important, the dog puts his mouth over the dumbbell. The dumbbell is not inserted in the dog's mouth. Good lad. Out. Eames, fetch. Good lad. Out. Eames, fetch. One, one thousand two, you're finished. Good boy. Out. Heel. Momentary break. Sit. What we call a mental health moment. Heel. Down. 
Sit. Stay. Eames, fetch. There, out. Eames, fetch. Out. Eames, sit. Stay. Eames, fetch. Good boy. Deal. Why am I not beating him up for the holding? Because yeah. we're not working on holding, we're working on fetching. Team sit. Boy, stay. Holding is tough much later. Team fetch. Good boy. Out. And I'm going to stop there on this session because he took it without the ear pinch. That's right.